Today we're going to show you how to use masks in Lightroom. This will allow you to edit certain parts of your photographs, for instance enhancing your subject while helping them stand out from the background. So to start our editing process off, the first thing I want to do is actually grab my crop tool because as you can see the horizon isn't quite straight. So we're going to move right over here to the right hand side and click and drag until we can see the horizon looks much better. There we go. And we have a little guide here showing us that the horizon does look straight. We're going to click on enter. Now, the next thing I want to do is bring more attention to my subject. This is a photograph at sunrise, and I want to bring up the shadow levels just a little bit in my subject. So we're going to move over to our masking tools. Let's go ahead and click on our masking. And as you can see, we can detect people automatically, which is amazing. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on our subject. We're going to click here on Nile. And from here, you can see I can actually go and make different selections based on different parts of our subject. We're just going to choose entire person and hit create. So now that my subject is selected, let's go ahead and talk about our shadow levels. We're going to brighten those just a little bit. There we go. I think this is looking great. Let's add a tiny bit of exposure and a little bit of contrast. He's looking really good and standing out from the background. Now we're going to go ahead and warm up the color temperature just a little bit. This was a sunrise photo shoot. And I used a flash, but the flash was a little bit cooler. So we're going to just warm up that color temperature. That looks amazing. Now, here we can see our mask panel pops out. Here's the mask we just created. You can see it's a person mask. I can add to this or subtract at any time. And I can click on this little eyeball right next to this mask to see how that looks. Now, from here, we can also decide to create more masks. And this is what we're going to do next. So let's go ahead and create a new mask. And from here, I'm going to click on sky. I want to enhance the sky just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and bring our color temperature just a little bit warmer for the sky as well. Fantastic. And we're going to take our saturation up just a little bit. All right. I think that's looking great. Now, our sky is looking pretty good. I like to add a little bit of a glow behind our subject. So to do this, we're going to take advantage of the subtraction feature. So let's start with a manual selection that's going to be a radial gradient. Let's click here on create new mask and we're going to go to where it says radial gradient. So with this radial gradient, we're going to start right here on the sun and click and drag out until we've covered a large portion of our subject. Now I can click here to drag and make our shape a little different at any time. This looks great. Now we're going to go ahead and take our shadow levels and we're going to bring these up. I'm going to bring our color temperature up just a little bit and let's go ahead and bring up our exposure. Now, this is a great way to draw a little bit more attention to your subject, but I actually want this to just be behind the subject. OK, so what we're going to do is click here on subtract and then we're simply going to subtract, subtract out our person. There we go. Let's click on subtract. And now we can see this is actually just showing up behind the subject, which is looking really, really good. The next thing I want to do is add just a little bit of blue to the sky around this photograph. So we're going to start off with a radial gradient. Let's click on a create a new mask. We're going to go to a radial gradient and we're going to click here in the center and then drag out. Okay. Now this is actually going to be the opposite of what I want selected. So we're going to start by just bringing our color temperature nice and cool and bringing our exposure down. There we go. But what we want to do is actually invert this radial gradient. So we can do that right up here on the very top of our radial gradient. We're going to invert that and look at that. OK, we don't have to go so cool on that color temperature, but this is looking really, really good. So make that before and after visible. That's looking fantastic. And if I want to make this more visible in the sky, I can actually subtract from this as well. So let's click on subtract. We're going to go to a linear gradient and we're just going to click and drag up there. There we go. It's literally subtracting this gradient from the other gradient. I think that's looking fantastic. All right. Now I know this is quite a bit. Let's go ahead and close out our gradients and we're going to close out our masking as well. Now we can use the slash key so we can see there's the before and the after. You can see what an amazing change we're able to make with our photographs using a few simple masks. And don't forget, you can add or subtract to any of your masks at any time, making them much more powerful. So the next time you want to make a big impact on your photo, masking is the way to go. Use the automatic masks like select subject or sky, or you can use manual methods like the radial or linear gradient.